Let's get right to the quarterbacks because Nick Starkle and Ben Hicks, this is very interesting right now, Mike. Yeah, we have uh, what could have been an awkward situation at quarterback. Ben Hicks leaves SMU as a grad transfer to Arkansas. He comes in last January. Probably thinks the job is his. He just doesn't need to screw it up. <laughs> Short time later, uh-oh, Nick Starkle decides to leave A&M after the spring semester, and he comes here, and unlike Hicks, he's a grad transfer with not one but two years to play. Well, these two guys seem cordial enough yesterday in the photo op on media day, but behind the scenes, we're hearing that while they are not enemies, they aren't exactly close either. Yes, offensive coordinator Joe Craddock paired them together in a Navy SEAL leadership exercise this summer. They got along fine, but they each admit that they're not here to be pals. They're here to win the job, which will help Arkansas win games. You don't have to be friends with everybody that you work with. You just got to have a common goal. And so I'm not friends with everybody on this team. I can't say that I am. As long as we have those same goals, you know, I'm cool with it. And we're going to help each other get there. We're not going to be a, you know, a sly team, making remarks at someone else, stuff like that. We're going to be helping each other out the whole time. And we're competitors. I mean, we're, we're both trying to win the job. I and mean, at the end of the day, that's, that's all we're trying to do is win and, and, and be the guy that helps this team win games. And um, if that's not your mindset, then you're probably in the wrong business. You know, I do think that it's not as important for quarterbacks to be buddies as it is, say, two linebackers or guys along the D-line. Yeah. Yeah. Because only one of them is going to play unless somebody gets hurt or you get too far ahead or too far behind. So they're naturally more competitive. When, when you know you're probably not going to play much if, you don't, if you're not the starter, I don't know that you're buddies with that other guy. You yeah. know, Terry, the thing is, both these guys got moxie to them. Unlike yeah. last year, I think Ty Story and Cole Kelly, it was very limited in that regard. No, I completely agree, and I'm on their side as well. I don't think that they need to be best friends in order to be good at what they're going to do. I actually, I appreciate the fact that the two of them are kind of open about the fact that they're <laughs> not best friends right now. It's going to create some good competition for them. How